Hello lovelies, my name is Brittany and I am going to show you how to make a magic circle. So to do this, you want to have your yarn, of course, and a hook. So the first step, you're going to take the yarn tail and you are going to lay it flat in your palm, like so. You're going to wrap your yarn around your first three fingers and secure it between your pinky and your ring finger. Then you're going to bring the yarn back around to your palm and you're going to create an X. And then wrap the yarn around your uh, three fingers and then anchor it with your pinky between your ring and pinky finger. So it should look like this. Next, <clears throat> you're going to take your hook and you're going to slide it down the crack between your pointer and your middle finger. And you're going to slide it under that first strand of yarn and hook the second strand of yarn. You're then going to um, bring the second strand of yarn under the first strand. You're going to twist the hook up towards you like so and form a loop on your hook. And it's okay to like maneuver it to make it a little bit bigger. Next, you're going to slide the hook down your fingers and hook the second strand of yarn again. And then you're going to bring that yarn over through the loop on your hook, like so, securing your circle. Now we have a circle that's not going to go anywhere. So <clears throat> the next step is creating your stitches or making your stitches around your circle. In order for this to work, you need to make sure that your stitches are created or made around these two strands of yarn. This here and here. So when you create your stitches, you want to crochet with these two together. So we're going to start with the chain. So yarn over, pull through. So we're going to do a single crochet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to insert your hook through the circle from front to back. You want to yarn over. Bring the yarn back through your hook from back through your circle from back to front. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So I'll show you that again. You're going to insert your hook from back, from front to back. Yarn over, bring the yarn back through your circle. Oop. Yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. So you're going to do that for your desired amount of stitches. Usually when you're working in a round, it'll be about 10. So insert, yarn over, pull through. Do that a couple more times. And once you have the appropriate amount of stitches for your project, you're gonna take your tail and you're gonna pull. It closes your circle and makes your stitches nice and tight. And it forms your circle with no hole in the middle. Voila! <laughs>